everybody welcome back to my channel happy wednesday if you are watching this on the same day i post which is wednesday um so i have a, a mini haul from diy choose it just came in today i just got home and saw my package so we have two good ones and possibly a dud <laughs> so maybe we'll start with the dud first and then we'll save the best for last. So I know you see my candy girl painting down here. I got a small chunk done. I started working on the second row last night, but I had enough. Um, I am just experiencing a lot of um, popping drills and lifting drills that I have to keep going back tracking to push down and fix and rolling over it with my little roller. Um, even before I start working on it on a new day, I have to roll it again and then roll it midway and then roll it before, you know, before I'm done for the night, it's becoming a little bit of a hassle. And unfortunately I have two of these paintings. So I have a feeling the second one, when I decide to do that one is going to be the same spiel. So if you guys have any advice, I did write in the community. Um, I did write a post, um, asking you guys for some tips and tricks um what do you do when you have a square drill painting that pops and lifts a lot um any information is appreciated somebody told me they seal them as they go you know a little at a time i don't want to have to do that and i don't have the only diamond paint sealer i have is a spray and it really is stinky so i don't think that's going to really fix the problem i'm going to have to get one of those glue ones that you brush on um, but I don't know. I don't, I don't want to lose hope in this painting because it's so beautiful and I just, it's becoming a hassle and it's really, it's, it's sucking the enjoyment out of, you know, the craft of diamond painting and working on a new canvas that I love so much and that I couldn't wait to get in and now it's here and, and now I barely want to look at it. So, and it's, it sucks because there's two in the collection that I bought. And they're just, it, this is so much larger than what I'm normally used to working on. If this was the 30 by 40, maybe I would be less inclined to get upset about it because I would have been finished with it halfway because I'm really fast with 30 by 40s. But this is a 40 by 50. This is a lot larger than what I normally take on. Um, so it's a, it's a tad bit frustrating. I want it to be over with right now. I just want the painting to be finished. And I'm and I'm working very slow and I may be burning out at, at the end, other end of the candle at the same time. So this is a little bit of a struggle bus. But anyways, let's get to the dud first. She may be a dud, she may not be a dud. Maybe because the painting is so dark, she looks like a dud. The rendering on the website is really, really beautiful, but it, it it also shows it online as a very dark, shadowy um, painting. It's not bright and colorful, what you know, like pastels and stuff, which I normally work with. This was a little bit on the darker side. A lot of blacks, a lot of dark blues. So, um, I don't want to do all this straightening because she might just get rolled right back up and put into the pile. For when I have the patience to do this. So, you can't see it here. Maybe you can a little bit. But see, it's a very dark painting. It is a brown skin girl, chocolate girl, with her really dark hair. And it's supposed to have butterflies in here. Here's some butterflies. And uh, maybe some flowers and some, you know, she's got jewelry on. It doesn't look as bad in the camera when I'm looking through the viewfinder on my phone. Um, but in person, it looks super bad. <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm looking at the rendering. I guess she has blue highlights on her face. It just seems very odd. Um, this is very, very dark. Um, some of it looks like color blocking, which is good for me. Um, that's what I'm experiencing with this candy girl. Um, not a lot of color blocking. It's hella confetti, and I hate confetti. 
Um, I, I'm constantly switching colors up on this candy girl painting, and I, I, I try to find paintings that I don't have to do that. Um, but I understand if you want, if you get the confetti, it blends more, yada, yada, yada. I don't know. So this is 22 colors. It comes, oh, I was going to say pre-bagged, but take that back. Only one is pre-bagged. The last color, number 22. It's lavender, like a mauvey lavender. And see, you can see the drills. They're, they're very, very dark. Purples, some pinks. There's even a yellow in there. Um, but they are those tiny, sucky drill bags that I hate ever so much. I finally kitted up a kit that had these bags, and it sucked so much. Um, I don't know why they use these. But you get a regular tool kit. And, of course, they don't, for these, they never write the canvas number on them so I'm gonna have to label this if I choose to separate it I might just roll it right back in the canvas which I'm probably gonna do right now and put it in the pile and save it for when I'm really running low on on paintings she was 529 it's a round drill and it just uh, describes as butterfly cool girl 30 by 40 so Let's do the next two, which I am extremely excited about. These, I love these. These, I can tell, are going to come out really beautiful. One is Disney, and I'm going to say it's Disney inspired. It's called Manga Girl, but when you see it, you're going to understand why I say it's Disney inspired. Let me just fix the bottom. So, this is clearly an Alice in Wonderland inspired painting. So you got your Cheshire Cat at the top. Right back here, if you can tell, that's the size of the top hat of the Mad Hatter. You got your teapot. You got your Alice. She ever looking so cute. You got the talking flowers over here. You got the um, white rabbit's pocket watch. And you got the white rabbit. This is a really cute take on Alice in Wonderland. I absolutely love it. I adore it. A lot of pink. A lot of um a lot of pinks and reds. Look at all those pinks and reds. Again, the sucky little bags. I don't understand this. And they don't um, label them like one, two, three, four, five. They label them with the color numbers. I guess these are DMC codes. I don't know too much about DMC codes, but um, they label them with that, and they're always faded. And you can never read the bags. And I have to do, play guessing game, which I don't like. But a lot of blues and pinks and girly colors. Some whites. Really, really nice. 22 colors, 30 by 40, $4.69 for this one. They had, um, for these manga girls, they had a lot of, um, different photos, different things. They even had some takes on Sailor Moon, which I think I already bought one and I'm waiting for, but super, super cute. Um, I might have to buy a lot of some of the collection. Here's your toolkit. And we're going to put her aside because she's going to go in the portfolio for future work on. And here's the last one. Let me try to straighten her out first. Canvas is a little stiff. Very creased. really 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 pretty so for five dollars and 29 cents i got this 30 by 40 of this barbie looking girl a little bit of tattoo to her and the hot pink some roses really and her pink nails i love it her pink eyeshadow and her platinum we're gonna call this platinum blonde silver hair 
30 colors in this one. This one reminds me of Orange Girl up close to the face. I love this. This one's going to be an easy one for me. The letters seem, and the numbers seem very, very tiny on this one. It is a round drill. And there is some glitter in the canvas, which I don't mind. The sparklier, the better. So, but um, other than the letters and numbers and symbols being very tiny, um, they're very clear. I can see what's going on. I'll still use a light box for this, though. And we got a normal bagging. We got the silver train. Has the canvas number on the bags. Also has the canvas size on the bags. And they are numbered. I love it. I might be starting this one sooner than you think. So, $5.29 for her. And she's just called Painted Cool Girl. So really 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 pretty i'm super excited about this one so i have one dud and um two really good ones that look really great so super excited about this i am waiting on a, a diamond painting that's supposed to be coming in from tamu today but i've been looking for their customer service number which they used to have a customer service number when they first came out because I had called about an issue a long time ago and I got to speak to an actual person. Now they seem to have gotten rid of the customer service number and you have to talk to a live chat, which I don't even think is a real person. They don't solve your problem. And or you could write an email so and you don't know how long they're going to take to get back to you or if they even get back to you in the email. Um, I might have a slight problem with them today. I placed a small order. I placed a couple orders. Um, normally they come straight to my house with no problem. But this one seems to say on the updates that it is, it is out for delivery somewhere in New York. I don't live in New York. I'm in New Jersey. So hopefully my package doesn't get delivered to some person in New York. Because I mean regardless I'll get a refund. But... There's nobody I can talk to at Tamu that's a live person to fix this problem. They also told me in the live chat to, to speak to the delivery company, which was SpeedX. I've never heard of them, but I called their winning engine number and nobody's picking up. You can only leave voicemails. They keep you on hold for like five minutes listening to music and then you have to leave a message and nobody's gotten back to me so far. So my packages could be somewhere in New York and who knows. But I think come tomorrow or the next day, they, if it doesn't make it to my house, they're going to be issuing me a $5 credit and not for nothing, I'm going to be asking for a refund because I was really looking forward to some of the stuff in that package today. So this is the first hiccup I've had with them um, other than my packages coming to my house looking like crap. But anyways just the forewarning um you know i my address is already in the system so all i have to do is check out and it has all my information even has my credit card information so i've never had a problem with my packages getting shipped somewhere so i don't know what the screw up so make sure you you watch out for that hopefully it doesn't happen to you with tamu um here are the drills again little bags oh no not little bags i'm looking at another one these are the drills. They are all round. I am giving squares a break. I am no longer going to be buying squares. If a painting comes in square I'm, and it only comes in square, I won't be buying it. Um, unless they somehow make it into rounds um, somewhere down the road. Um, I don't like... I like the way square drills look, how closely they're together and they look nice and neat. Um, but someone had told me in the community that maybe because the paintings on the cheaper side, um, which she tends to see when they're cheaper, you get the popping drills and that's a really sucky situation. Just because I'm buying a cheap painting doesn't mean I should have popping drills. I shouldn't have to buy a $75 canvas in order for my square drills to fit nice on the canvas. Just saying, but, um, I am no longer interested in square. I have a couple squares in my collection. I will do them as I 
please when I want, when I am up for the headache. Other than that, um, no more squares. No more squares. Um, I will be sticking to rounds because I never have an issue with the rounds. Ever. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's little haul. Little rant, little haul. Um, I am waiting from other companies to ship, but you know, these affordable companies, they take about 10 to 20 days. So it's just the waiting game. But I hope you guys have a nice day or night wherever you are. And if you are in the U.S., um, <laughs> try to stay inside and avoid the smoky air from Canada. Because it is very hazy here and it stinks outside. So I don't know if that's like that where you are, but the air smells foul. So <laughs> try and stay inside and enjoy yourself. And I will catch you in the next video. Bye now.